So in this video, we are going to derive the quadratic formula. Now you might have used the quadratic formula before, and in this video, we will see the derivation of that. Now let me write in the side what we will actually prove. x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is basically the quadratic formula, which we are going to derive. So we know that the general form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a not equal to 0. If a equals to 0, it will turn into a linear equation. Now, we are equating this to 0 because we want to find the roots of the equation. Roots are the values of the variable for which the equation will equate to 0. So, we will divide both the sides by a, ax square divided by a, we will cancel both the a's out, plus bx divided by a, plus c divided by a is equal to 0 divided by a. Now, 0 divided by something is 0, so this thing will translate into 0. So, we get x square plus bx divided by a, we change this c by a to the RHS, is equal to minus c by a. Now, we want the term on the LHS to be in the form of a plus b whole square. So we know that a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So for the terms in the LHS, LHS I'm sorry, so for the terms on the LHS to be in the form of a plus b whole square, it needs to be in this form. So we'll try to do that. It gives us x square. So it's a here is x. Thus, we can see here is a 2, so we'll write the 2 into a, which is x. So we'll write that x. And here we have b by a b by a. And we're saying that there's an extra 2. So we'll write here a 2 so that the equation remains same. Now, here, b is b by 2a. Now, we can see that um, plus b by 2a whole square is missing, which will be actually the, the oh, I'll use the square. This is the a. I'm sorry, sorry the, here the a is x and b square is b by 2a whole square. Now, we'll, we'll write plus b by 2a whole square. Now we are adding an extra plus b by 2a. I'm sorry, why did I give a square here? Hmm. So we'll have to write plus b by 2a whole square on the RHS also. Now this is this thing is clearly in form of I'm sorry. This whole thing is clearly in form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we can write this as a plus b whole square. So drive that x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to b square divided by 4a square minus c by a. Now we will simplify the things on the RHS a bit is equal to b square divided by now what is the common here? The common is 4a square and we will multiply the c by 4a minus 4ac we get x plus b by 2a we will find the square root of the RHS as we are taking the exponent from LHS to RHS. We have to give the plus minus sign root over b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square. Now we know that root over of a by b is equal to root over of a by root over of b. So we will get is equal to plus minus of root over of b square minus 4ac divided by root over of 4a square. Now what will this 4a square translate into root over 4 is 2 and root over of a square is a. So it will translate into 2a. Now I'll scroll it down a little bit. Mm. So we get x plus b by 2a is equal to plus minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now if this b by 2a to the RHS, we get x is equal to minus b by 2a plus minus root over of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now as we can see the denominators are same so we don't need to adjust the equations and not the equations, not, not equations, we don't need to adjust the terms. So we get x is equal to minus b, we will simply add them up, plus minus of root over of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and we are done.